The Daniels Fund was formed in 2000 at the passing of Bill Daniels. And we established the offices in the Cherry Creek area because that's where Bill had his home. In fact, when he was still alive, he said, I want the fund there. And we said, Bill, there are houses and businesses there already. And he said, what's your point? So here we are, right where Bill wanted the fund to be. Uh, we work in Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming, and they're all states that had significance to Bill Daniels, personal meaning to him. Uh, he was very specific in setting up this foundation to last in perpetuity, and he was even more specific about the areas that he wanted us to fund with his money. Bill Daniels was an amazing man. I, I always thought he could see around corners because he had good ideas that turned into very profitable businesses often. When Bill Daniels first got into the cable business, he was an operator. They were offering cable systems to local communities. Later on, he expanded into some of the programming sides of the business, and of course, the first area was sports and, and prime ticket. And he was thrilled to be able to bring sports activities to people's homes where they could really enjoy the activity. Uh, it turned out to be one of the most profitable parts of Bill's cable business. Uh, Bill loved sports. Sports were very much a part of his life. Bill Daniels was a Golden Glove boxer, and he loved all kinds of sports. We always laughed that Bill was about 5'6", but I think he thought he was 6'6", because he played basketball and football. He just loved all kinds of sports. And he attributed later on that sports really taught him the discipline, the sportsmanship, the teamwork, the things that really made him successful in business. The Daniels Fund allowed us to have many more student athletes for this year's World University Games. We're looking at maybe about 80 in our total contingent, and now we've got 142 people total here in Granada, which is great. We've got an entire speed skating team, which we haven't had for a long time. We've got a, uh, a very strong alpine team. We've got a, a great uh, snowboarding and freestyle team, and most of that is uh, because of the Daniels Fund funding. Bill Daniels had had a life of of sport and, and actually some television, some cable television, and, and we fit very well in his foundation, which is based in Colorado and supports student athletes in the four state area, Colorado, Utah, New Mexico, and Wyoming. And we're touching them all here in, uh, at the World University Games, so we're very appreciative of the support we've had from the Daniels Fund. I've never been outside of um, the United States, AR Canada, so this has been an awesome experience to get to experience the culture and the people and their customs. It's just awesome. Well, I really liked seeing the uh, Alhambra since I was studying that in school, so it was cool to actually see it in person and get to experience that. It's been phenomenal to just be around the group of girls that we have here this year, just getting to know new people and getting to experience the country as well. It's been an awesome experience. It really means a lot. I really appreciate what you guys have done for us so we can be here today. Um, I wouldn't have been able to go on this trip without that funding, without doing a lot of fundraising, so that's really helpful um, to, to be able to get to come here on this trip. I was just absolutely in awe. I didn't realize that there was an opportunity such as that for me to be able to come with that extra help because I'm working my way through school and taking classes at the same time, so it's really hard for me to raise that money. So to be able to actually get that help is just awesome. I really appreciate it. I feel very proud to be a part of this team and representing my country. Bill Daniels directed us to work in education in a couple of ways. Uh, first and the first and foremost is our own scholarship program. So 30% of our annual distribution is the Daniels Scholarship Program. These are young people that are coming straight out of high school and heading to college, and they have the opportunity to choose any university in the United States that they want to attend. We're a last dollar scholarship, which means that they get Pell Grants or any other funding they're entitled to, and then we complete the rest. Our model is, uh, is such that um, enables student athletes to self-fund for them to have the opportunity to be part of this international experience. And it, it's a little bit expensive for some student athletes, especially some of the elite student athletes. So, so if you um, lived in those four state area and you're a current student and you're 
part of the uh, this the elite sport program at those universities, uh, you're able to be part of this funding source. The international sports competitions fit exactly into our funding areas. Bill wanted us to fund uh, amateur sports competitions, the pipelines were national or international, so we were thrilled with the opportunity to partner with you all. The Daniels Fund allows us to to be a better team and to be more of a complete team. I think the organizers here in Granada are happy that we've got such a large team um, and we, we should be much more competitive this year than compared to what we have been in the Winter Games. So we're expecting a few more medals. Um, I think that's not as important as the experience these student athletes have in interacting with the world and, and seeing that uh, hey, people are very much the same wherever, wherever we go. When Bill Daniels was a teenager, his parents sent him to the New Mexico Military Institute. We suspect that was probably for some discipline reasons. But as Bill reflected on his experience at New Mexico Military Institute and the, the involvement that he had with sports there in particular, he reflected on that time as being very critical in the formation of his business skills and later his success in life. He felt that sports taught him discipline, taught him teamwork, and most of all, responsibility. And he really lived his life that way and he was quite successful in business. Well, Bill Daniels, um, above all, would say if he were here today that his business success was based on his integrity. He had a reputation for being very honest and very fair in business. He liked to win, don't get me wrong, but he always wanted to feel that he won a fair uh, fight. In addition to the amateur sports area, we also fund uh, programs that serve seniors, uh, alcoholism and substance abuse. Bill was an alcoholic, so he understood the disease quite well and wanted us to work with people who, who were trying to uh, get back on their feet. We work with disabilities, developmental disabilities, uh, early childhood, K-12 education reform, ethics in higher education, homeless and disadvantaged, and youth development. I think I speak for all of us to say it's a real privilege to do this work and I think we all take Bill Daniels' legacy very, very seriously. And it is a pleasure to be able to see and help wonderful organizations. It's also more difficult than you would think. Uh, there are so many opportunities out there, and so many worthy nonprofits that need help trying to find the very best opportunities that reflect who Bill Daniels was and how he would think. It's much harder than you think. The Universiade Torch has already made a stop in Slovakia. Now let's take a look at some early competition highlights.